Hi and welcome. Well, today we're going to be exploring some of the five star hotels on the seafront here in Catapafos. As you can see, it's an absolutely gorgeous day. Beautiful weather. The date is 5th of March 2022. So I'm going to show you the fronts and the back of these uh, five star resort hotels on the uh, main Paphos Harbour area. There are a lot more hotels, but these are the, the main kind of few as we head towards the harbour area. Okay, well, as I'm sure you can see, quite high up here, having a look over the uh, views. If I just flip the camera around, over there is Paphos Harbour and uh, we'll start the tour in a minute so please join me most welcome welcome to travels with the russells we invite you to join us on our adventures as we explore different countries their cultures sites and significant historic and religious monuments we invite you to please like and subscribe to our channel travels with the russells oh so the first hotel we've got here is the Amavi Hotel. It's a five star, adults only resort hotel. It's beachfront. It was uh, built or completed in 2020, so pretty much just in time for the pandemic, but uh, is open fully now. Very nice. The road in front is the main road, or one of the roads down to the harbour. Going in the opposite direction you go to Euroskipu. The hotel opposite me there is the Three Star Aloe Hotel. I believe that hotel is closed at the moment. Again, it may be a, a victim of the recent pandemic. It may open again for Easter. Behind the Aloe is Paphos Gardens hotel again it's a, a large hotel is Paphos Gardens it's three star and has an option for all inclusive back to the five star offerings all the hotels on the seafront uh, that I'm going to be showing you are all five star hotels there is a lot of four and five star hotels in Paphos As I say, what we're going to do in the, in, later on in the video is we'll be walking the coastal path so you'll see the back of these hotels and uh, the facilities that they offer at the back. As I say, these are all sea facing, these are all uh, beachfront hotels. Across the other side of the road, we've got uh, all your normal kind of car hire, package tours, various places, little bars, little cafes restaurants again remember it is March early March so the season hasn't actually kicked in yet I'm in shorts and t-shirts are a lot of tourists it's about 18 19 degrees so very pleasant no breeze as you can see everything is very still but the weather is kind of a bit like a, a British summer at the moment a bit unpredictable Lovely today, could be raining tomorrow. Okay, so the next hotel that we're coming across is the Alexander the Great. Been here a number of years, five star, lovely hotel. I would 
actually have gone inside these hotels, shown you round. The only problem would be that uh, with COVID restrictions and face masks and everything else that they have, it is a little bit difficult at the moment just to go in and start wandering round in these hotels without having to show passes and why I'm doing it and this, that and the other. So it's easier to show you from the outside than it is the inside. Again, across the road you've got pharmacies, jewellery jewelry shops, supermarkets, car hires, ATMs, etc. So this is Alexander the Great Hotel in Catapathos. A lot of uh, weddings and uh, christenings and things like that happen at these hotels. I don't know if you can see, but just over there, there's, you can see the, the castle in Paphos, the fort over there. Although it is a, an easy walk to the uh, harbour, in fact there are buses, certainly in the season, that run up and down here constantly. You don't get run over by somebody on a bike. As I say, in the season, the summer season, buses are every four or five minutes. So I've got a feeling there's one coming. And you can just jump Bus. on and get to the harbour. Little walkway, shortcuts through from the front to the back. Very nice. As we walk along here, across the road from these hotels, there is a variety of uh, restaurants, bars, car hire shops, estate agents. The grounds that we're walking past here, that we have been for the last couple of minutes, are all part of the five star Elmira, Elmira five star hotel. Again, very popular hotel. All the five star facilities you would expect. Kids playgrounds. Tennis courts, squash courts, gyms, heated pools, several pools, private pools. Kind of applies to most of the five star hotels on here. And of course, five star service. People who've not travelled to Cyprus before, if you've not been, one thing that's very Easy is very multicultural, so you'll find uh, obviously Greek and Cypriot spoken widely. But you'll also find people speaking English. You'll find people uh, speaking Romanian, Bulgarian, Russian, German, French, and a lot of the staff in the hotels can speak several languages. But English, I would say, English, Russian and Greek are the main languages. Greek being the main language in Cyprus. Although it is a dialected language, so we say Cypriot rather than Greek. So, Almeida Hotel. 
across the road there is the infamous Bar Street. If you'd like to know more about Bar Street, then please watch my video on Bar Street and Catapathos. It's a disgrace. Needs bulldozing. <laughs> my opinion. But I don't think anybody can be proud of Bar Street. It's just as nothing but closed down businesses. And the ones that have remained open tend to be uh, few and far between. Cyprus will be uh, having something called Green Monday. On Monday it's a bank holiday. It's a traditional day when families go out and fly kites. On this side of the road, we have got uh, cafes and bars and restaurants, jewellers shops, gift shops, ice cream parlours. And the sports bar. here now again sea facing we've got another famous hotel in Cyprus the Annabelle again a five-star hotel what people don't often realize is most of the things you see in Cyprus are built on ruins sometimes they leave the ruins exposed so you can see oh well, when we were building this hotel we found this then we concreted over it and built something something else. So this one is the Annabelle Hotel. The closest one that we've mentioned so far, closest to the harbour. Okay, so from the Annabelle, pass a plethora of coffee shops, Island Coffee, Starbucks, Costa Coffee, Imperial Chinese Restaurant, which is uh, up there. Again, overlooking the sea, overlooking the harbour. And when we come round this corner, we will uh, be actually at the sea from there. Across the road there, I don't know if you can see, it's the the Dionysus Hotel, it's a three star hotel, nice location, busy location, but handy if uh, you want to be kind of in the middle of everything. Okay, so we're going to take the cut through here. Side of the Annabelle Hotel. So, I guess if you get a side sea view, this is what you'll get. Sea's over here. Time is uh, 20 to 4 in the afternoon. Here we go with Paphos Harbour. And the castle there in the background. Okay, so we're going to walk you now along the front. So effectively at the back of these hotels, 
For instance, these are private bungalows, uh, not private, these are bungalows that you can uh, have at the hotel, Elmira, rather than a room in the hotel. Some of the bungalows will have their own swim up poles, mini infinity poles, or plunge poles. This area in the summertime would be sunbedded out from the hotel itself and they would run bar service etc from here. This would all be ready for the tourists for the heat of the summer. People often used to uh, complain to me in Cyprus that uh, it was just too hot They'd come on holiday to Cyprus in the summer, in August, and then say, oh, it's just too hot. And you go, well, did you not think to look how hot a country Cyprus is? It's literally a stone's throw away from the Middle East. It is, in late July and August, very hot. Temperatures can often be in the 40s, and it's relentless, day and night, the heat. Even the locals complain about the heat in the summer. When we lived here, which we did for a number of years, we'd often go up into the Trudos Mountains where it's several degrees cooler and there's often a breeze in the mountains and we'd go for a holiday up into the Trudos because uh, it's a lovely day, a lot of people outside enjoying the sunshine, having meals, locals. So, Almira Hotel, <coughs> moving next door. Uh, sorry, the Annabelle Hotel moving next door to the Almira Hotel. <laughs> People here would appear mostly to be locals, Cypriots. I'd say it's a bank holiday weekend. Uh, Five star hotels stay open year round and come here anytime you want. Unless they're undergoing major refurbishment, they tend to be open every day of the year. Local water spots will be available in the season. The Annabelle and the Elmira Hotel are sister hotels, so they're owned by the same parent uh, business, staff interchange, and because they're both five-star hotels, sometimes if there's uh, something going on at one of the hotels, that they uh, could put you in the other hotel. I don't think it happens very often, but sometimes there's uh, renovations that take place and they just uh, up, kind of upgrade you, in quotation marks, from one to the other. Seaweed everywhere is because the weather has been quite bad. We had a, a lot of uh, wind and rain last few days. And a couple of days ago the sea was crashing up everywhere so it's like they've not had a chance to clear up all the seaweed. 
and in fact it's still early days yet another month or two I always used to say to switch the heat on in about 6th of Mar uh, May 6th of May bang around that date suddenly it started getting very hot When I did my introduction to this video, uh, I was actually stood up there. <laughs> so this is now Alexander the Great Hotel. may notice that there's not really any beaches so uh, if you're bringing children then maybe these hotels aren't really perfect for you there are tiny beaches but they're not particularly safe it can get very deep very quickly here and also there can be a lot of uh, undertone currents in the sea I don't know if you can see that, but there are people in the sea swimming, paddling. So this is Alexander the Great. I'm not just being rude and walking through a hotel. In fact, the public footpaths along the seafront are open to everybody. And if the hotels choose to build right up to the edges and over the other side, that's up to them. Of course, these sunbeds are only for hotel guests. But if you go to reception, if you're not staying at one of these hotels, under normal circumstances, if you go to reception, say you'd like to spend the day, then uh, a small cover charge and ask you to uh, eat and drink at the hotel, they wouldn't have a problem letting you stay. In other words, they are often open to non-residents. I think much like the rest of Europe, Cyprus does have a immigration issue. A lot of refugees, a lot of uh, people from all over the world. Uh, refugee into Cyprus it's quite an easy country to get to from the Middle East and from Africa I don't know if you can see people out there swimming I can see them I'm not sure you can So down here we have the uh, municipal beach. So the municipal beach. Again, the back of the uh, Amaviri Amavi <laughs> Hotel. First one that we started with.
as I say, it's a new hotel, it's only a couple of years old. Kind of opened in the, just before the COVID pandemic. Again, down here is uh, a bar, a restaurant, a cafe on the beach. Lovely position, beautiful view. Stairs to nowhere. <laughs> All part of the hotel, but again, anyone's welcome. Anastasia Beach Club. So again, municipal car park, pay and display. New hotel or uh, apartment block being built in the background there. Cypress only ever used to build as high as the tallest palm trees. That seems to have gone by the way now and they're building these multi-storey blocks which is not to my taste I think they're a disgrace like the hotels at four and five storeys are big enough and back out to the main road just where we started with the uh, Aloe Hotel the other side of the road there, the three star hotel. This, just as a side note, this uh, bungalow, and there are two, it's semi detached. Is a friend of mine, Cypriot guy, it's a family bungalow, so it's his sister lives next door, he lives in one, she lives in the other with her family. Before the hotel was built, that was their garden. Straight onto the seafront, straight onto the municipal beach. When they wanted to build the hotel, he refused to sell his house. So they built the hotel around it. So now, their property is surrounded by a five-star complex. Lovely little fire, lovely little house. Used to be just sat there with nothing next to it, nothing in front of it. Now it's the, it's got a hotel. It's the way of the world, I guess. Okay, well, I'm going to wrap it up here. Say goodbye. If you've enjoyed this video, then please leave a comment, leave a like. Like and subscribe. Subscribing is important. It tells YouTube that people are watching videos and it helps me out. Okay, thank you again. Bye.